Hello, we are the Home Energy Management System Group, and this is the video presentation of our senior design project at the FAMU FSU College of Engineering. The goal of this project is to design a system that will give the user total management and control of his own energy consumption, and also reduce the demand load with the use of real-time pricing. This project was sponsored by Feeder, Foundation for Engineering Education for Distributed Energy. Let's examine the top-level design of the system. The design can be broken down into three levels. The first level is a user interface designed as a web application that can be accessed by any device. The second level is the brain of the system in charge of controlling the loads using the HGM algorithm. This level is composed by the main controller connected to a router. The final level includes the load controllers in charge of monitoring and executing the commands sent by the main controller. The main controller is composed mainly by an embedded computer containing the algorithm, the BeagleBone Black, and a transceiver for communication, the NRF 24L01+. The load controller, placed between the load and the outlet, is composed by the MSP432, the transceiver, a 5 volt relay, a current sensor, and a comparator. The temperature controller is a special purpose load controller designed to monitor and control the temperature of the house. It uses the LM74 temperature sensor. Now let's examine how the system operates using the web application on a mobile device. On the web application, the user will be able to add, edit, and delete loads, and basically control the entire system from the main dashboard. First, the user is greeted with a login screen in order to access their personal system. In this demonstration, the system is composed by three load controllers, a thermostat controller, and the main controller. First, we are going to turn on load 1 and see how the consumption of the system is reflected on the consumption graph present on the web application. As seen on the graph, the consumption changes from 0 to 0 0.033 cents, detecting the load 1 is currently on. The RTP at the moment is being simulated at a constant rate of 2.0 cents per kilowatt hour. Next, we turn on load 2 and see the reaction of the system. As seen, the consumption went up to 0 0.08 cents. Finally, we are going to turn on load 3 and see how the consumption graph goes up to 0 0.1 cents. Here are all the components present inside the load controller box. The load controller uses the current sensor together with the LM339AN comparator to detect the load is drawing current at any particular time. As you can see, the LED changes to blue when the load is drawing current and to green when it is not drawing current. This method gives accurate information of which loads are currently being used. Now we are going to simulate the system's response to a change in the real-time price. First, we are going to start turning on all the loads. As you can see, the consumption starts to go up again. As said before, the initial real-time price is $0.02 cents per kilowatt hour. 
And now we're going to change this value using a testing feature found on the web application in order to perform the simulation. First, we are going to change the value to 5 cents per kilowatt hour. And as seen on the graph, the consumption went up to 0 0.25 cents. Now let's change the value to 12 cents per kilowatt hour, and as seen on the graph, the consumption rises drastically to around 0 0.6 cents. Finally, we are going to change the RTP to 1 and see how the graph instantly changes by dropping the consumption to approximately 0.05 cents. It's important to mention that the system developed makes use of a program algorithm that automates the control of the loads by turning them on and off depending on factors like the real-time price, consumption, priority, and maximum desired monthly price. As seen on this demonstration, the system is ready to be deployed in an environment that incorporates real-time pricing. Now let's see how the thermostat controller can be used using the web application. The set temperature is the temperature desired by the user, and the current temperature is the value provided by the temperature sensor. You can control the temperature by pressing the up and down buttons to adjust to the desired temperature. Another feature is the use of the schedule or hold option. The schedule option allows the user to use a scheduler to schedule different temperatures at any given time. The scheduler is shown below. In the temperature schedule, you can edit any of the settings by pressing the yellow button on the right of each entry. You can modify the settings for weekend or weekday, change the mode to heat or cool, change the time to any hour of the day, and enter your desired temperature. Thank you for your time. If you need any more information, you could visit the URL on the screen.